Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Bets Golden and today I want to create an art journal page with some gelatos. Now gelatos are a really great medium that are perfect for summer travel because they are dry and you can use water with them, which means you can pack them in your carry-on. Yay for that. They're super fun and there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can do it. You can do a direct apply, which I'm doing right here. And I'm just gonna take a couple different colors um, and make a really bright, beautiful background. I am paying a little bit of attention to my color family as I do this, but you're gonna notice I'm gonna have cool colors and warm colors on this page. The only reason why I'm, I'm concerned is not because I'm gonna like ruin the gelato if it touches one of the other colors, because you can simply rub it off on a paper towel and it's good and it's good to go. It's because I'm going to actually be using some water down uh, the road on this and it's going to blend. So these are these are water reactive and I now I'm going in with some pink right up there onto that blue into that green. You want to be a little bit careful with this because you can get a little bit of mud, some brown when you're mixing, especially two secondary colors like from the cool tone and from the warm tone. So uh, I was a little bit careful, but then I want to go and smudge this out because this background obviously isn't that great. Now, I'm just using a paper towel just to smudge it out. You can use your finger. Actually, if you use your finger, you get a really great result. But for some reason, I don't want to really get my fingers dirty today. So I'm just using a paper towel. And every time I go through with a different color or I switch a color family, I do use a fresh portion of that napkin as to not smudge through and get mud. And as you can tell, up in that corner, I got a little bit of mud, but don't worry, it's not going to be a big deal. You are going to notice that I'm going to create a background on this and I would just like to tell you that this is a background. So that means that if you don't love it and I'm not going to love it when I'm done, it's okay because you're going to cover it up. And in fact, it's kind of dangerous to make backgrounds that you do really, really end up liking because then you don't ever want to finish the page. But there's a solution for that too. Just slap a sentiment on it and you're good to go. But in this one, I'm having some fun with the creative process, which for me, that's what it is. This is just this fun creative process. And um, I'm gonna show you a couple techniques that you can use. You already saw how to do a direct apply. Um, we're gonna use the paper towel to smudge it out. And then I'm gonna show you how you can actually lift it with some water. And then after that, I'll finish off this page. So now, I am just going through darkening up different areas and I do have some um, supply lists for you provided down below and if you can't I'm gonna also um, give you the direct link for where you can find all of this really cool art by Marlene stuff it's so awesome because I couldn't find all of it but I have a direct link where you can just shop all of her stuff. It's really, it's really great. So I'll, I'll have what I can do a direct link on and then what I can't. So I just sprayed some water on using a cosmetic blending brush just to pick up and dab through some of that. And it really whitens it, lightens it, I should say, and gives a nice outline. And I am drying it with my paper towel, of course, because I want to see and I don't want it to run too much. But see how you can see that outline? So this is one way that you can use uh, or the third way, I should say, that you can use your um, gelatos is with some water. And you can just lift them through the stencil, which I'm doing right now. And I'm just using, popping the stencil down all around the edges, and I'm using what should be that top portion, but I'm using it as the border around the whole thing. So always look at your stencils in more than one way, because you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. I really like how the edges on this turn out. And I am greatly inspired by this Artsy Arabia line <clears throat> right now. All right, so now I'm taking a look at that and I'm going, well, I kind of want to cover it up. Uh, now I have it all dry. I took it off screen and I set a heat tool to it. And I just pulled all of these fun paper elements from her line. This is probably one of the coolest things if you want to create quickly are these paper elements. The work is done for you and they punch out real nice. Now I want to layer, but I want to slip stuff in behind different pieces. So instead of gluing everything down, 
I'm just putting pop dots at the bottom of all of these paper elements. And what that allows me to do is slide things behind other elements and I can pull the little trunk out, you know, and, and um, you know, just piece together a scene here. And so this one's going to go on top. Be mindful of your art journal when you're doing this though, because if you have one that's bound, you'll be unable, I mean, it'll just be super chunky. Mine is a three ring binder type thing. So I know that it'll be fine if I have some extra layers on this. And I do go off the page, but you will see what I do when I am done with this page and I have everything laid out. I do go ahead and glue on those final pieces in the back, but I'm not quite done yet. I actually want to add some more of these paper elements to the corners. Instead of applying my glue directly to my paper element, I'm actually applying it to the paper. And the reason is because I am going to really get the most use out of these paper elements. So I will eventually trim everything up and then I'm going to place those pieces on top of the pieces that I already have laid down on the bottom. I want the butterfly to pop, so I am going to throw a pop dot on that and just layer it up. Now I turn the whole thing over and I take my scissors and I just trim it flush. And as you can tell, some of the holes are covered, but that's okay. I can take a hole punch and make a new hole through there. It's not a big deal. Now I do want to get the most bang out of my buck with this paper element. So I'm going to take that one right there and I'm going to pop it on the bottom with a little bit of glue. And it just kind of adds a little something special to it. I don't like a, the, there's a little corner that um, between the camel leg and the edge of the paper. I don't want that to be as visible. So I am camouflaging that as well. And by trimming off the excess like this, it does appear to be more visually pleasing to the eye. Now, as you see me finish this up, that portion of it up, I should say, I want to um, ask if you have not subscribed to my channel and you enjoy content like this to do so. And also, uh, if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. I do have everything I'm using listed in the description box for your convenience. So please go ahead and check that out if you want to um, make a page like this. Now I am just using these sticky quotes. I like to cut my quotes in half to make them work for my page. This is a really great little um, technique that you can use. And then I do go over with my pen and this pen that I'm gonna use to, um, to outline usually works really well over paint and pretty much on anything. But for some reason with these gelatos, it doesn't want to, give an even um, application. It's really hard for me to use it. So this isn't a pin that I would recommend for this particular medium going over gelatos. Just keep that in mind, but it works great on top of acrylics, regular paint and whatnot. It's a really, really nice pin. I am just going to outline the edges of the things that are glued down entirely to my journaling page. Now I'm going to take some stickles and that's just basically glitter glue and highlight a couple areas on this page. You can't see that one. It's off. I apologize, but I'm working on the butterfly and I will have a picture for you at the very end of what this all looks like. So I just want to highlight a couple different areas. I'm not going to go too crazy with this, but a little extra bling on this would be super nice. And so I'm just using two different colors or actually three different colors. So those are also down below for you. And these do dry flat. They don't dry with any kind of dimension. So keep that in mind. Stickles are absolutely wonderful for outlining or just adding a little bit of a pop of color. If you want something that has some dimension, you're going to want to use liquid pearls 
but stickles are really great for this particular technique. So I'm thinking I'm done, but I'm really not. Now I'm gonna add some little cute gems. Art by Marlene has a really fabulous gem set. It, it's, it's fantastic. Lots of different colors, sizes, and shapes. Go check them out. They're great, and I use them a lot. You'll get a lot of use out of them. I am using my art glitter glue on this because I just think it holds really nicely. Mine is super, super old. I've had it for years. I use it almost every day. I probably should replace it, but this definitely is a great investment for adhesive that works across the board. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting.